Second verse, same as the first. Oh, I, I, I was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I did the ground pound. You got too the... far ahead. Yeah. Before... All right, welcome back to some more of Yoshi's Wooly World. We're going to finish off World 4 right in here. We're taking on Naval Piranha. Going to Naval Piranha's sewer. Now, Naval the, Piranha debuted in the original Yoshi's Island, similar okay. to Bert the Bashful. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I'm just, like, going to the sewers. Mm-hmm. Everyone gets a castle. Naval Piranha lives in the sewers. <laughs> He's there with Michelangelo and the gang, <laughs> just like, Hey, have some of that pizza. Pizza. All right, so the way the sewer works is we have water mechanics. We have to alter the flow of water and, like, rise and lower the water levels. Okay. Yep. That's how we're going to get all the goodies here. But, like, even for a danky sewer, like, it's very creative. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I like how they use running water. My favorite is still Origami King. How With uses, the paper. Like, yeah, the shredded paper. Like, that is such a really cool aesthetic. There you go. You can use your yarn to skip across the water. I think we've already seen that before. But that's how you're going to solve some of the puzzles. Whee! <laughs> These guys are interesting. Whoop! <laughs> Aww. He's like my head. My head's not on my body. <laughs> you took my neck. You just ate my entire neck. <laughs> For this one. Those look like dandelions. So they're nipper plants, but those are just the buds. When they hit the ground, they become full nipper plants. But you don't want to do that. You want to grab the flower instead. A dandelion. I'll take your neck. <laughs> it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to realize that, like, the yellow dandelions mm -hmm. in the yard are also the, the, the prior form of the big, like, puffy make-a-wish dandelions. Yeah. yeah, they start as that. It took me an embarrassingly <laughs> long time to know that they were the same plant and not, like... <laughs> Different plants. Well, at least you came like, to the conclusion. Yeah, I thought the, like, make-a-wish dandelions were just, like, they grew that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were kind of disappointed. It's just like, oh, no, I, look like I the wasn't, others. like, disappointed, but I was surprised. I was like, what now? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Wait. Uh, there we go. Because I know, like, those, the little yellow ones annoy people, but I really like them. <laughs> I enjoy the little dandelions. <laughs> Why do people find them annoying? They're all right. Well, they're considered a weed. Oh, okay. Um, but, I mean, they're not really a weed. They're a flower. What I don't like are those sticklers. The ones that, like, they're, you yeah. rush up to them once and, and there's they 20 just, of them yeah. on your jacket. And it's just like, whoa. Little prickly bushes. Yeah. Those ones I don't like. See, those are nipper plants. Okay. Gotcha. They start as buds, and when they hit the floor, they become nipper plants. They just hop towards you. Yeah, I, I don't remember the exact time frame that it started. But it was, like, the idea of a lawn mm -hmm. was, like, what made people really start to hate, like, wild garlic and right. dandelions and... Well, because you got to, like... Like, onion grass. Lawn. And it's because, yeah, like, the idea of, like, a smooth green grass lawn without any, quote, imperfections. Yes. And it's, like, all of those plants are edible, though. Mm-hmm. They just don't look pleasant. That's what I hear, at least. Yeah, that's, like, the idea. And it's just, like, I like, don't mind them. Where I like, used to work, I'd sell, like, a lot of, like, weed killer and stuff like that. Like, yeah. what do you do to get rid of dandelions? I'm just, like, eat them? Yeah, like, <laughs> you don't. Like, you leave them for the bees when the bees wake up. That's their first source of food. No, we had specific stuff that could get rid of dandelions. 
hate it. Specific chemicals. And it kills the bees. Well, like, it's... I, I, I always go back to George Carlin. Like, he... The man was a visionary, I swear. He knew his <laughs> shit, but he said they don't really care about the planet. They just care about a clean place to live. Yeah. That's all it's about. Not in the abstract. They just want a clean place to live. Good luck with that when they kill off the bees and there's no food. <laughs> well, they'll figure that out in the long run. Glad you enjoy your clean place to live. <laughs> the bees Until are going to be like the to death. in... Oh, what's that movie? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where all the dolphins just leave and they're like, so long and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> That's what's going to happen with all the bees. They're just going to leave and then the Lorax is going to lift his ass up and carry himself into the wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, there was just, it floats around every year and it just makes me so sad of like this little honeybee mm -hmm. um, that is dead. And she, like, her legs are full of pollen and her tongue is stuck out because she was trying to pollinate a flower that had weed killer on it. Oh. Uh, Aw. And it, like, it kills them. Yeah. Save the bees. This save the trees. So save the whales. Save those snails. Or just accept that, like, it's okay to have dandelions and wild flowers and wild greens in your yard mm -hmm. like it's okay for little imperfections they're not imperfections yeah, they're, happy they're, not, accidents even, they're not even imperfections it's nature happy little <laughs> happy is it happy little accidents yeah yeah okay for some reason i was getting like the bob happy bob ross accident. quote wrong in my head Happy little trees. Yeah, it just drives me nuts a little bit. I'm like, God, just let leave them alone. Like, no, no, it's my it yard. Must be a perfectly green, flat lawn. Alrighty. That's how we do it. No secrets there. And down here. I think that's my one, like, annoying. Well, I, I know I have a lot more than one. Um, but, like, my one preachy annoying trait is, like, the bees. Yes. Leave the fucking bees alone. Well, I could definitely see you in your youth, like, stand outside of a hive and be oh, like, yeah. you will not cut this tree down. Yeah. Protect the bees. You and your fellow students all <laughs> arm locked together. We shall overcome. <laughs> we shall not. We there we go. That's that's more appropriate. <laughs> we shall overcome is more of a march. <laughs> we shall not. We shall not be moved. That was a the, the, the recess. There was an episode where yeah. like, they were gonna tear down like a whole playground or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And they all stood together and it was just like we shall not. We shall not be moved. I don't, like, it just, I get it, not everyone has to like bees. I get it, I get it. People don't like bugs, that's 100% fine. Well, but, like, a lot of people are allergic to bees, too. <laughs> like, deathly allergic. We can't just ignore that. Well, yeah. It's not just, I don't like them. But no. <laughs> okay, but it's the same with peanuts. There's just as many, if not more, people deathly allergic to peanuts, and you don't see, like, peanuts being murdered and outlawed and... You know, people throwing them in the trash. Well, like, peanuts aren't animals, so peanuts can't go bee and come into your... You just no, be like, oh, they, that's a peanut. But they grow wildly. Like, you could walk through peanuts. Yes. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like that... I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like bees. You really don't. But, like, we do depend on them yes. to eat. People being like, oh, well, we'll just eat meat. And what is our meat going to eat? <laughs> like Bees are nature's farmer. Hey, we need some weed killer on this big old piranha plant, though. Now they're an invasive species. Supper time. This boss reminds me of a Tui from Little Shop of Horrors. It's actually my favorite boss. Hmm. So do you see why it's called Naval Piranha? Mm. 
So naval has two meanings. It means like sea, like the navy. Yeah. But also a naval like is belly. a name for a belly button. Yeah. And he has like that's his weak point. Oh. Uh, his okay. little like see his belly his, button that it protrudes. That's unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> and that's naval piranha. Ooh. All right, no problem. So what you got to do is you got to chuck a bomb down its gullet. Okay. Very similar to the uh, Dodongo snakes from Link's Awakening. Oh, shit. Ooh. It's okay. He just does a little damage. It's not a one-hit kill. <laughs> I was like, did you just get eaten? Yes. Yeah, he came from below. See his little yeah. piranha roots? They did the wave. <laughs> All right, minions, we're going to do the wave. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Up and down and up and down and up. No problem. You coming back this way? Yes, you are. So right. where do you get... Oh, okay, never mind. What's up? I was gonna ask, like, where do you get the bombs then? Because you just have little yarn oh, dolls. Because the little uh, shy well, guys in the back. Well, are yeah, I just saw it saw it happen. That's why I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Because I was what? just about to ask, like, okay, so if you have to throw a bomb down its throat, like, and then pow, there we go. That took care of the nasty old naval piranha. Do a little dance. So in the original. You can actually like bypass the boss in, in Yoshi's Island. I don't mean original, because this isn't a remake, this right. is a sequel. Um, in Yoshi's Island, if you like stand at the very edge of the screen before Kamek shows up, you can actually kill him. And Kamek goes and goes, oh my, and then leaves, and that's the end <laughs> of the level. In this, you can still do that. You throw a yarn at him, but Kamek just gets pissed and keeps going. Keeps going, yeah. But it's a nice little throwaway to be like, ah, you're trying that trick again. It won't work this time. <laughs> We've evolved. When we play Yoshi's Island, I don't think I'm going to utilize that cheat. Because it's still a fun fight. Yeah. And the Yoshi, of course, is... Piranha Yoshi. Piranha Yoshi. It looks like he has reverse chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by hot and cold flashes. That is one memory that I just like. It it comes to me every now and then, of check out World Five. It's Ice World. Uh huh. Um, I had chicken pox three times. Oh my god, I had it twice. Um, you're technically only supposed to get it once. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think the first one was just like a rash, and I thought it was chicken pox. Yeah. And well, then the second time, it was just like, no, this is chicken well, pox. Well, because here's the thing. For a lot of, like, if you get it when you're young, if you don't have enough of the virus in your system, yeah. your body doesn't immu immunize? Immunize? Immunity. Don't it doesn't, it immunity. doesn't, yeah, it doesn't develop the immunity to oh, it. Oh, God. Um... So check this level out. It's called Naval Piranha 2. Now it's personal. Uh. And he's chasing us all throughout the level. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is really hard. So a little bit of insight. The first time I played this game was with my sister. We didn't do that many special stages. So this is me experiencing these special stages for the first time. And I have... Oh, God. <laughs> uh. There's a moment where I stop the recording... And switch because, like, this goes on for quite a bit. Eh. <laughs> but also, I don't have the right badge. When I defeated Naval Piranha, I got the Magnet Badge. And you definitely want to use that because you don't have to touch. Right. You can just be it'll... near it and it'll come towards you. Because right now I'm just like, how the hell? How in the hell? I missed it. Ooh. And he gots me. But what's scary is... This thing's right here, and it's just like, oh, I'll get some yarn balls. One, two, three, four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Time to go. But to finish my thought, I played Connect the Dots on Chicken Pox with of my dad. Of course you did. Because he had it as an adult. 
Oh. And I was on like my third round of chicken paw. It's the worst when you get it as an adult. Oh, yeah. He ended up going to the, the hospital, hospital because uh-huh. he had them like on his eyes. Ugh. They were down his throat. Like it was it was really bad. But I was on my third round of chicken pox. So I had to stay home. And uh, we played Connect the Dots. Uh, the first time I heard that was like a bad thing was an episode of Rugrats when the kids get the chicken pox. And Susie's just like, it's fine. Kids get them all the time. It's worse when you're an adult, especially if you're men. And it was Stu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> With Stu. So it doesn't actually happen. The episode ends because I remember this. I thought it was so funny. Sue's just like, I had chicken pox when I was a kid, right, Pop? Of course. Or maybe that was Drew. Drew. Pop, wait! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy the Rugrats. Um, like, the the baby... Grandpa was my favorite character. Yeah. And he still is. The baby mispronunciations can get a little tiresome. It was the excessive crying that I was just like, yeah. oh my god. They do it a little too well. Um, but definitely the adults, like now as an adult, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same as like watching Spongebob as a kid and you're just like, Spongebob's the best. And then, and then, you, then watch you watch it, it and, you're like, nah, and you're just like, nah, Squidward is where it's Squidward at. Squidward <laughs> is the real MVP. He is my spirit He's animal. just trying to live his life. And that Gen Alpha sponge is just <laughs> like... He's my spirit Just squid. in his business all the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that's the same with Rugrats. Um, hey Arnold, I feel is like more neutral. Yeah. Like, because like the ad- I still the adults were with the kids and the adults. were like definitely second tier. Like they they weren't the focus. It was definitely the kids were the focus. I don't know. Pookie can give you a run for your money. Well, I mean, <laughs> she steals a lot po- of episodes. Pookie and Grandpa, like. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit, I ran out of yarn balls. Damn it. So he gets angry towards the end and he starts going faster. Because this little uh, challenge isn't hard enough. I know, right? But we're getting it, we're getting it. This time I have the magnet equipped. And that's the beauty of video games. After you try so many times, you start memorizing all the tricks they pull. So it's just like, ah, oh, there's gonna be a piranha plant here. I grab this shell, come up here, and I'm gonna grab the flower. You just go through the motions until you, you do a little better each time. And then you're just like, oops, he's gonna go faster. Oop, I died. All right, let's try this again. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, I, I, I was too fast. <laughs> I did the ground pound. You got too the, far ahead. Yeah. Before the vine could form. <laughs> the vine was just like, oh, hold on a little there, buddy. Well, what can happen Well, can is, only grow so fast. If you go too fast or if you're in, like, the wrong area, the vine will grow over you and you'll get stuck. Oh. That can happen. Okay. It's where it's just like, oh, I'm stuck. And then, luckily, you don't have to reset because the piranha plant, all he has to do is reach and that's a death. But there's some games, this happened to That's James horrifying, because then you just have to wait for death to get <laughs> yeah. to you. It's just like, well, guess I'm just here dying. But uh, Jamonius was playing Sonic recently. He was streaming it. And, like, you spin that, and people are like, oh, the 3D games are so broken. I'm like, mmm. The thing about going very fast is sometimes you go so fast the game takes a while to catch up. Yeah. And Jamonius just gets stuck in the wall. <laughs> and he had to wait for the timer to go out. Because nothing can kill you. You're you in the wall. You just have to wait for death to reach yeah. you. Sonic is like day 374 of my captivity in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like. Will I ever see the sun again? The coins have kept me alive until now. <laughs> One day, my rings will run out. I feel like he's just like a, a film noir. Like... <laughs> I hope Tails can solve the mystery without me. Little guy's on his own now. I've, 
trained him as best as I could. Hopefully, he won't make the same mistakes. There we go, we got it this time. And right there, I need to grab that one. See, and he goes for that last lunge. Yeah. He can nab you right there if you're not quick enough. But there, ow! Man, if that would have <laughs> killed me, I'd have been so pissed. <laughs> if I hit my head off that and it went, woo! <laughs> Now I want to write, like, a dying Sonic film noir. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a short game that was Let me released take you last back year to called where it began. The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, God. And it's like a mystery game where it's just like, who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? And it's like... <laughs> He's just like, I was rolling around at the speed of sound. It's like Murder on, a on the Orient Express. summer It's like a parody, sidewalk. parody of that. <laughs> and I think, like... Tails is the one leading the case. <laughs> and like Amy and Knuckles are suspects. And I'm just like, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Who are we? This is NES? Nintendo 64. Oh, oh my God. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Nintendo I know 64, exactly what Yoshi. video you're referencing. Yes, that wasn't me. I wish it was, but nah, that wasn't me. It was pretty damn close, though. Alrighty. We're going into the Winter Wonderland in the next episode. So we'll see you then. Toodles! Toodaloo! Fluffy snow, here we go! <laughs>